Hello Magic Gathering players, this is Maelstrom MTG. We are playing some magic today, and yes, we're actually playing. So, we are going to start off with this hand. It has three creatures in it and some kill spells, so we are hoping to get in some early damage and keep off any threats. They started with a Flooded Strand, so I'm not sure if they're actually playing an aggressive deck, if they're just playing the fetch land because it's a fetch land. I don't know. Um, we're going to pass the turn here. Uh, the deck we're using is our most recent list, uh, Obosh Prowess. Let's see, what deck are they playing? But we do have these, uh, this Dragon Rage Chandler, we have the Swift Spear, we have another Swift Spear. Watery Grave, huh. Makes me think that they're playing Esper Control. Likelihood is that they have Counterspell here. I think I want to play Swift Spear Soul Scar, but I don't know. Yeah, let's do Swift Spear Soul Scar. Because if we do Swift Spear Soul Scar here, then if they counter one of our. Are they just going to counter it? Oh, wow, they're just going to counter it here. So since they counter there, let's confidently place out this Dragon's, Dragon Rage Channeler. Next turn, we can turn it into a 3 3 by playing Tarfire and cycling our land, putting four types into our graveyard. We'll swing in with our Swift Spear. Setting them 17. Hopefully they don't kill it. That would not be ideal. But, uh... It... It happens. But we can be swinging in for quite a bit of damage next turn. The great thing is it doesn't matter if Tarfire resolves. What would suck is... Oh, yep. Is this a Teferi? Oh. They're going to take our Swift Spear. Well, it's sad, but like... Why? Instant land. Oh well. Draw a card. We can... Tar fire here. Surveilling. If we surveil a land here, what we're going to want to do is, yep, toss it to the bin and play our land here. We're going to have it enter tapped. Not the best in the world, but honestly we don't need a... Um, I also want to play a Soul Scar here. Just to get more of a board presence and swing in three. I don't want to Firebolt their so Spear because if we do then we're wasting damage because since we're dealing so much damage early early on then that means that we can very easily just firebolt our opponent to death if we need to i only i'll only firebolt if it's absolutely necessary likelihood is that we see some sort of bounce yep to fairy bounce our dragon's rage yes And I apologize since there's no background music. Uh, where I'm recording, it would be terrible. Trust me. Terrible. If there were background music here. Um. We 
what we can do is we can Dragon's Rage here. And then... I don't want to Flame Slash, but like, they have nothing else we can Flame Slash. But what we'll end up doing here is... Uh, I don't expect to force a negation on Flame Slash. Yeah, there we go. And then we surveil off of it. Uh, I kind of want that land. Start building towards the flashback. We're getting pretty close here. Uh, and then... We can even bring in Obosh if it's absolutely necessary. Uh, then we get a counter here. Not a counter, but like it is going to be. Um, I don't know if I even want to. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think it's worth it to kill the fairy here. I just want to pressure them and they could board wipe during our turn. But it has the same effect on us as if they do it during theirs. Um, I'm going to toss this out here though while we... Oh wow, it's being laggy. Uh, I'm going to toss this out here. Just so we can pressure them even further. Um, I probably should have done that before combat, but... Just a delay in thinking. Because that would have actually been very nice, because even if they board wipe or kill our creatures... We can still double firebolt and then they're dead. Likelihood, they could even, I don't know what list or what version they're running. Oh wow, okay. So that means they have two types, cool. But they do get the surveil. Um, okay, I'll tap that, I'll play that, I'll firebolt their creature. Yeah, doing Firebolt pre-combat last turn would have been really good. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put Obosh into our hand here. And then pass the turn. They need to find a way to steal or kill Soulscar. Because if we draw a land, we don't even play Obosh. We play a land from a graveyard. Not a land. Uh, we play a fireball from a graveyard and swing in. Likelihood is they're holding up a counter spell for that. Hmm. I'm going to do this pre-combat, actually. The light up the stage. Okay, they bounce it to our hand.
The idea is we're just going straight for them. It doesn't matter um, if they bounce our Soul Scar next turn. We're just hoping to just. Wow. That's. Okay. We're wasting a lot of resources here. So if next turn we draw a land, which is going to be very nice if we do, we can just play a Firebolt. They are playing a Dakin here. Wow. Okay, so Dakin enters the number of counters equal to the number of lands you have, which is four. Oh, and they're going to exile our creature. Okay. I'm on and off Dakin, you know? I feel like if you're going for removal on a Planeswalker, there are just better options. Okay, this is acceptable. Okay, game two. All right, we don't want cannonades. We don't want flame slashes. Take those out immediately. Um, bring in tar fires. Why not? Uh, just flame slashes just aren't good here. Hmm. I feel like Ingot Chewer here is a pretty safe bet. Um, I just don't want... I just don't want those Flame Slashes. Ingot Chewer's artifacts are common hate cards, so bringing Ingot Chewers are not terrible, and they are creatures, so Force of Negation doesn't hit it. Um... I don't like this. It's not fast enough. Against a different style of deck, or if we didn't know what they were playing, maybe. But since we know it's control, our handful of removal won't be great. This is slightly better. Uh, we would turn one a Bomat Courier here. We will send... We're going to send... Bone Crusher to the bottom. It's the least reliable card in our hand if we only have one land. Tar Pit, okay. It's just taking a moment for it to load. Okay, there's a land. Our hand just got a lot better. So we'll go ahead and play a Bomat Courier. I love Bomat Courier because it really is, um, it really is just an all-star in this deck. Um, I prefer it to Seasoned Pyromancer in this kind of list. Seasoned Pyromancer is a very good card, but Bomat Courier does exactly what we want it to. Especially in a game like this where it lets us keep a hand like this. Um... Yeah, that's not terrible. I don't really want to draw another land yet um, after this. So, I will go ahead and attempt a Soulscar Mage here. Here's the thing. Until Bomat Courier gets to, like, three cards, I'm not terribly keen on defending it. They're going to counterspell this. 
Yeah, so I don't feel like I have to keep up the mana quite yet to defend my creature. Just because there's not a lot riding on it. And so it's not worth it to play slowly here. Um, I'll go to combat. Swing with Bowmat. Draw to play face down. The user interface on untap is a learning curve, but it is once you once you know it, it's kind of just a groove. We'll pass turn. They're probably gonna arc me just charm our Bowmat courier at some point. And so the moment I'd say at this turn and on, we wanna be leaving mana open. Um, just so that they can't arc me, just, that would feel really bad. Um, I want to leave my options open and I want to give them as little information as possible. But, let's see, what's the only thing they really do in this deck? They can dack on on 4, uh, minus 3, put it at a 1 is probably the best they do dac on in a game versus us to fairy minus three puts them at one so law of darts fine i want to get extra damage in here so i will actually i will be casting lightning bolt directly to them uh normally i wouldn't be so careless with my spells but since i know that they're control um, since I know that they're control, I can be a little tastier with it. I am 100%, by the way, expecting a board wipe. But we'll see what happens. Now, the... The setup I have here, I have a Law of Dart in hand, and this is actually very good. Because even if I discard Law of Dart with my Bowmat, I can still cast it. Jace the Mind Sculptor, okay. Uh, what are they going to do? Zero Jace, gotcha. Brainstorming is just so powerful. It's very possible that we can win here. Okay, maybe not quite as possible. Uh, we'll start our turn with the mountain, just so that we can uh, have that available since that's not instant speed. Um, I want to cast Love Dart, targeting them, triggering Prowess. Are they... Oh, they might be con seriously considering Force of negation -ing this. If they do, respect, but I'm not sure that's what I would do. I don't know. If they Force of negation it, I'm not sure we can kill them this turn. Alright, so then we swing in for 7. Then we sack Bowmat Courier. To send these to our hand. Ugh, feels so bad. Okay. Um. We 
We can play Dragon's Rage here with the Artifact Creature, Land Instant. Yeah, so it gets plus two, plus two. And then we'll leave the Swift Spear in case they board wipe or anything like that. I expect an Archmage's Charm probably on the Channeler. They block. Oh wow. That tells me that they're fetching for a board wipe. the wrath of god or supreme verdict there we go send all to graveyard and that is why we kept the swift spear in hand so if we top deck any spell i mean hopefully they don't have a fatal push right that's that's the hope Yeah, they're going to Fate Seal us, see what's on top of our deck, try to make sure that we don't top deck something that can kill them. That's probably something that can kill them, so... Great. Um, If we don't draw anything useful, what we can do is we can uh, play Monastery and then put Obosh to our hand. Um... Mm, I almost feel like... Forgotten Cave is more valuable though. So we're going to start off with Monastery Swift Spear. And then we're going to cycle. I mean, I know that Forgotten Cave can give us the fifth land we need to play Obosh. But I'm really just trying to hit something here. That works. Okay. So, even if they counter this, Monastery gets in for two. There we go. There were there were so many things we could have top decked there to win. And there you go. That is modern on a budget. Obosh Prowess. It feels really strong right now. Finish game and leave. All right, so recap. Um, that was really one of the first control decks we went up against with this deck, and I realized we have like nothing to really sideboard in. All we do is take out the flame slashes and bring in like the we bring in the tar fires, we bring in the ingot chewers. I know the ingot chewers might seem odd, but they're something that can't be countered by force and negation, and they're also artifact destruction and quite often they can try to play like a chalice uh, like a chalice of one which absolutely destroys us that's not a control deck thing but that's just that's just a thing to watch out for but something often i would probably see is like a dragon's claw and so bringing this in can just go ahead and kill it immediately um and it is a five drop so if you wanted to you could try to cast it uh get that creature but it's in there because it's it avoids a lot of things it deals with a lot of things but that that's how you sideboard for that matchup i hope you enjoyed watching the deck be played i really enjoyed playing it um against a control deck i didn't get much chance to do that and I'm glad that it worked out so well because my deck's been doing really well and I feel like the moment I start recording, the deck gets significantly worse. But today, it just showed you that the deck's just powerful. The deck's just super straightforward. You can just top deck a Firebolt and just win the game. 
Um, you do have to be careful though that if you're going against control that you do have a backup plan. For example, when I kept the Monastery Swiss Spear back, that's because I knew that they were probably going to try to find a uh, try to find a land for their wrath, or they were just going to go for their wrath. So you have to be careful with what you're going to do, but like how far into it you're going to roll. And you also want to make sure that you are, uh, you're doing your math because this deck, it's good, but you've got to, you got to, you got to be good at fast math. Anyway, have a very nice uh, day or night whenever I publish this, uh, but y'all are awesome and I'll see you next time.